Hello students. Let us wait for some students coming up live. Let us all be ready. I'm waiting for students coming live. In the live section, in the live section, okay, in the live session, am I audible to you all? Please comment me. Students do comment me. Send me comments. Yes, Hirok, you are the first one to message. Stay safe at home, okay? Don't go out. Just know, Shepherd, who is the Shepherd? Introduce yourself. Aishman Koshe, good morning, good morning to you all. Don't buy key. Don't buy key patho. If your name is in some other Ayan, okay, don't buy key patho. Who is this? The Shepherd, yeah, Ayan. All right, Tonmoy, good morning. Kum Kum, oh yeah. Kum Kum, your mother's name is Dobakya, all right. <clears throat> Good morning. Ruby Das. Let's introduce with your name, okay? Introduce with your actual name. Introduce with your actual name. All right. Good morning, Kong Kong. Yeah, we'll be starting at 10, 10 a.m., okay? At sharp 10, 10, we will start. Okay, good morning. <clears throat> okay. Now, so still we have some seven minutes left. So whoever have doubts, you just, uh, you can text me in WhatsApp. Okay. You can text me the doubt in WhatsApp, the page number, the page number and the question number. Christy, okay. So I hope you all have uh, told your friends also. Okay, call your friends that Amadisa is live. If you have any doubt, you can ask, okay. So this session will be very, very important since you all are staying at bed. So morning regularly, okay? In alternate days, we'll be doing live, okay? So that we learn something. Is it clear? We'll be learning something. Christy, okay? Christy Borburwa. Good morning. So let all the people get connected. Let all the students come online. <clears throat> if at least 30 to 40 students come online, then we'll start, okay? So inform all your friends, call your friends, call your friends and tell them to come online if they are free. I'll be starting at sharp 10, 10 a.m. Okay, so inform your friends. The picture quality is not good. Maybe where you're watching. Good morning. The picture is not clear. <clears throat> is it clear now? Aishwan, is it clear? Divya Lakshmi, three. Okay.
Aishman, is it clear now? Is it clear now, Aishman? No. So I will write something on the board. Okay, I will write something on the board. You just tell me if it is visible properly. Okay. <clears throat> Tell me what I have written. Tell me what I have written on the board. Maybe your mobile is not supporting. It's not clear. You can't see anything. Not clear. It is not visible. Is it visible now? Okay, okay, okay. It's not clear, no? Okay, now, now let me check. Let me check myself. Okay, give me some time. Give me some time, all of you. Give me some time, okay? Just wait a minute, okay? I'm coming. Just wait a minute. Huh?
Hello, students. Is it visible now? Better now? Okay, okay. Just wait a minute. Okay, just wait a minute. We'll start. We'll start. All right, I hope now it is visible. Is it visible now? Tell me what I have written here. Tell me what I have written. Some of you, it may not be perfect, it may not be perfect, but yeah, yeah, bus stop can clearly read it, bus stop can clearly read it. It is not focused on me. It is not focused on me. If I don't stay, then how you will see? Yeah, Christy. Somehow, let's try to understand, okay? There is some visibility problem here. The network speed is being reduced, we all know. Nowadays, we are not able to see HD content for a pixel. I'm trying to make it 40 pixel, but it's not possible. <clears throat> yeah, somehow I think it is uh, visible now.
near the whiteboard if i take the how will i teach is it visible now is it visible now no need to write a question in that way meghna don't write a question in that way is it visible now minecraft gamer who are you just introduce your name Okay, let's start. Let's start the class. Okay, let's start the class. We are too late. Already it is ten eighteen. Okay, we'll start the class now. so now let's start <clears throat> i hope i have written correctly is it looking reversed is it looking reversed all right so let's start <clears throat> now <clears throat> okay take your book okay take your book and uh, in the comment section just wait just wait yeah stop stop commenting now all of you stop commenting madhusmita stop commenting anamika stop commenting yeah stop commenting now now what we have to do is we have to write the page number the page number for example if you have doubt in page number 43 write page number 43 question number question number okay exercise let us suppose if it is 1.2 1.3 like that is it clear hmm? so you just have to write the page number question number and the exercise is it clear so i'll be waiting Okay, Madhumita Bora, page number one sixty six, number A. Okay, all of you, send me your doubts. Send me your doubts one by one. <clears throat> send me your doubts one by one. Send me your doubts one by Okay, Madhumita, your doubt is page number one sixty six, question number eight. Meena, page number one seventy six, question number eight. Tanmoy, one six six thirteen. Okay, the Shepherd, page number one seventy one. I told you to write the question number also.
Okay. Next one, scouts. Who is this? Who the hell is this? Just get out of this class. Just get out of this class. Wait, let the school reopen. Wait, let's see what I will do. Why are you sending this kind of stuffs here? Don't send this kind of stupid stuffs here. Who is this? Nixon Scouts. Anybody know? Who is Nixon Scouts? Do you know? Is that his name? We are not doing joke here. Pranjit. Nixon Scout, just get out of this class. I don't want you in this session. All right, let's start the class. Okay, Madhumita Bora, your doubt is page number 166, question number eight. <clears throat> question number eight. Question number eight, number three. Yeah. Question number eight, number three, page number 166. The question is wrong, okay? The question is wrong. So you cut that question, this, that question is not required. This is applicable for all, okay? This is applicable for all the students. Students, listen carefully. In page number 166, question number eight, number three is wrong, okay? So you cut that question. That question is not required, okay? All right. So now let us go to Meghna, page number 176. Turn to page number 176, all of you. Question number eight, chapter test. <clears throat> Question number eight, chapter test. Okay, see? <clears throat> I will try to write it big, okay, so that it is visible. Question number eight, page number 176, okay, page number 176, question number eight. The question is from chapter test. It is given that 4x squared, 4x squared minus y squared minus plus 6xy minus 9, minus 9. So what we have to do here, now we know this is a perfect square number, so it will be 2x whole square, isn't it? And from the remaining part, you take minus common. If you take minus common, then the, this part will become what? y square plus will become minus 6y plus 9. So you can see, see clearly here, y square was minus, 6y is plus, and 9 is what? Minus. But inside the bracket, it will become what? Minus will become plus. Plus will become minus. Minus will become plus. Is that clear? Now, after that, inside the bracket, whatever we have, okay, we'll arrange in the form of a square minus 2 into a into b plus b square. Is that clear? See? y square minus 2 into y into 3, what do we get? 6y plus 3 square will be 9. Okay, so this part is in the form of a minus b whole square. So we can write 2x whole square minus y minus 3 whole square. Isn't it? Now, it is in the form of a square minus b square a square minus b square. So it will be what? a plus b, a minus b. So 2x will be added with y minus 3. Okay? And 2x will be subtracted by y minus 3. Is that clear? 
So 2x plus y is 2x is added with y minus 3. Now 2x is subtracted by y minus 3. Now the previous part 2x minus plus y minus 3 will be same. Here what you will get 2x minus y plus 3. So this is the required solution. Is it clear, Megna? Is it clear? Once it is clear, you just reply me with yes. Okay. <clears throat> the last step, this one. The last step, see what we have to do. We just have to write it as it is. And this part, you have to open the bracket. If you open the bracket, this will be your minus y minus minus plus 3. Is it clear now? A, C, A plus B, A minus B. Understood or not? See, it is in the form of A square minus 1, B square. So 2x will be added with y minus 3 and 2x will be subtracted by y minus 3. Is it clear? Hmm? So after that, since there is minus here, we have to give bracket before y minus 3. So we are given bracket also. After that, we open the bracket and finally we got this. Is it clear? All right. So now let's start with the next question. <clears throat> the next question is from Tanmoy, page number 166, 13, 5. This is also very, very easy. So whatever I'm doing on the board, try to copy it, okay? After the class ends, you'll find the same video in my channel, okay? This live video will be available in the channel. So you go through that video and you write down, okay? All right. So now, <clears throat> question number 13, number 5. Page number 166, question number 13, number 5. So what we have to do, 4 into 81 to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 into 81 to the power 1 by 2 plus 81 to the power 3 by 2. Tomo, it is very easy. It is a very easy solution. 81 can be written as well. 9 squared. And this 2 will be multiplied with minus 1 by 2. Again here, 81 can be written as 9 square into what? 1 by 2. Plus here what you will get? 9 square into what? 3 by 2. Isn't it? Now, 4, this 2, 2 will be cancelled and what you will get? 9 to the power minus 1 means what? 1 by 9 into... 2 2 got cancelled, 2 2 got cancelled, and what will remain here? 9, 9 plus 9 cube. What is 9 cube? We all know it is for 720. 9. After that, 4 into 1 by 9 into 9 plus 729 will be what? 9 plus 9, 18, 1 carry 738. This 9 will cancel 738. How many times? 9 8 are so. This is the solution. 328 is the solution. Is it clear? <clears throat> so though you are not able to write down now, at the end of the session, okay, after some time, after maybe after 10 to 15 minutes, you will find the same video in my channel, okay? All this live video will be available. You just go through, okay? You just go through and pause it for a while and copy it, okay? Now there is no time. Since there is no time, I will just go on solving each and every doubts. Is it clear, Tomoy? Okay. Now the chauffeur, you have not written the question number. You have simply written the page number. Okay, Ritu Bharali. Page number 176, question number 8. I think I have solved that. Page number 176, question number 8. I already solved it. Okay, so now <clears throat> let's proceed to the next one. Exercise 13.1, number 6. Again, the chauffeur, you have not understood at all. I told you to write the page number. 
Bastos, so you page number 175. Page number 175, 13.2, question number 12. Question number 12. <clears throat> All right, so this question, 2x square plus this 24, 6, 4 to 24. Okay, this question number 12 is also wrong. Listen all of you, exercise 13.2, exercise 13.2, question number 12, is wrong, cut that question, okay, cut that question, bus stop, cut that question, exercise 13.2, question number 12 is wrong, cut that question, okay, all right. The rest of the questions, you don't have any doubt, no? All right. So if you don't have any doubt, some of you are simply coming for saying the wrong questions, maybe. Okay, whatever it is, <clears throat> Christy, Christy also, Christy also, the same question you have asked, question number 12 is wrong. Page number 72, question number 14, good do. Well, this is good. I told you to introduce your name. Page number 52. Question number 17. So the area of a square field is 80 244 by 729 square meters. We have to find the length of its sides. We we know that the area of a square is what? The area of a square is given by side square. Okay. So we are already given the area. We are given the area of a square is equal to side square. Side square. Now what you will do? <clears throat> what you will do? You will uh, convert this into improper fraction. And finally, you will get <clears throat> you will get one improper fraction. We have after finding the root of that improper fraction will get the solution okay so <clears throat> what you will get 729 into 88 what you will get <clears throat> 729 into 88 will be 64152 729 into 88 is 64152 after that what we have to do after that we have to add after that we have to add 244 and finally, we got 64396. 64396. And the denominator will be 729. After that, what we will do? We'll find a square root. 64396 and 729. Okay. Now, the square root of this can be easily done by using what? Division method. Square root of 64396. We all know how we have done. We have given bar from the back side in this way. 2, 2, 4, 2, 4, 3. And then 2 will be multiplied by 2. What you will get? 4, isn't it? So by 3, we will do 43 into 3. What you will get? 3, 3 is a 9. 1, 2. I think it will go at 4 also. Let us do it. 5. Let us see what happens. 5, 5 is a 25. 2 carry. 5, 4, 20, then 22. 13 minus 5 is what? 8, 3 minus 2 is 1. And what you will get? 96. 25 into 2 is what? 25 into 2 is 50. And finally, what do you have to give here? Either 4, 4 or 6, 6. What do you give now? Two fifty four into two fifty four. What will get? I think I did some mistake here. Seven twenty nine into eighty eight six four one five two plus two forty four six four three nine six. Square root of 64396 is 
So here also some mistake is here. We will be getting the square root in terms of point. We will be getting in terms of point. Okay. So leave this question for now. This is not a perfect square number. Is it clear? This is not a perfect square number. So since it is not a perfect square number, we will be getting in terms of decimal point. Is it clear? So we will leave this question for now. We will leave this question for now. Okay, let me check the next. Okay, the next is page number 175, 13.2. Page number 175. Page number 13.2. Uh, question number 25. Question number 25, Nilanjana, Nilanjana. So this part I have already explained in the class, okay? <clears throat> All right, so what is given here? 27 X cube plus 64 Y cube minus 125 Z cube plus 180 x y z okay now to this to, to, to do this question we have one formula in page number 174 in page number 75 174 we have one formula that is in page number 174 we have one formula a q plus b q plus c q minus 3 a b c will be equal to a plus b plus c then a square plus b square plus c square minus a b plus b c sorry minus a b minus b c minus c a okay so this is the formula okay i hope you all can see the formula after that what we have to do <coughs> See, we all have to convert this first a perfect cube, okay? In this way, can we write? Yes, 64 can be written as 4y whole cube plus 125 can be written as 5z minus 5z whole cube. Can we write? Yes. Now, what is there? a cube plus b cube plus c cube. Here also we got a cube plus b cube plus c cube. Minus 3 is 3x, b is 4y, and what is c? Minus 5z. So I think when you multiply this all, 3 into 3, 9, 9, 4 is 36, 34 into 5, 36 into 5 will be 180. Minus into minus will be plus x, and this will be y, x, y, z. 180 xyz we got. So now it is in the form of a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc. Now we can write it in this form a plus b plus c a is what 3x plus 4y plus minus 5z. So plus minus will become minus. Okay, after that what we have to do? We have to write a squared. What is a squared? 3x squared plus 4y squared plus minus 5z square, okay, minus ab, minus 3x into 4y, this is a, this is b, is it? 3x into 4y minus bc, that is what, 4y into minus 5z, minus ca, minus 5z into 3x, is it clear, is it clear? All right, now <clears throat> 3x plus 4y minus 5z. And here 3x square will be what? 9x square. 4y whole square will be what? 16y square. Plus minus 5z will be 25z square. Then after that, minus 3x into 4y. 3x into 4y will be what? 12xy. Okay? And minus minus will become plus. 4y into 5z will be 20yz. 
minus minus will be plus 5 into 3, 15 zx is the required solution. Is it clear? So now I hope it is clear. All right, now let us come to the next question. The next question from Avilas, page number 52, question number 15. Question number 15. So question number 15, you try to find out the square root of 64009 and after that, after that we can use it in finding square root of 640.09 plus 6.4009. Okay, so it is very simple. It is very simple. What we have to do, at first we have to find the square root of 64009 by using division method. Okay, we have to use division method after using the division method, we'll get the square root, then you find out the, what you will do, then you will find out the, the just put the values, okay, because we can write, <coughs> we can write 640.09 plus 6.4009, how we can write, I think this can be written as square root of 6, 4009 by 100 plus 64009 by 10,000. We can write, isn't it? After that, square root of 64009 will be what? Square root of 64009, give a bar from the back side, 2 to Z, 4, then 2 will come to 40. And 2 will be multiplied with 2, what you will get? 4. Is it? Then 5 times will go. 5, 5, 25. 2, 5, 4, 20, 22. And we got 1, 5, 0, 9. And 25 into 2 will be 50. And finally, we'll get 1, 5, 0, 9. Okay. So we got the square root of two fifty. Uh, this one, 64009 as 253. So directly in place of this, we can write 253. And square root of 100 will be 10. Similarly here, square root of 64009 is like 253. And here what we got? 100 we got. Now what is the LCM now? LCM will be what? 100. So here 2530 plus 253. Now we add the three values. Add the values 2530 plus 253. What you will get? 3, 8, 7, 2, 2, 7, 8, 3, 2, 7, 8, 3 by 1,000, 100, sorry. What do you get? 27.83. We got 27.83. Is it clear? Is it clear, all of you? <clears throat> Okay, now let us do the next. Sabita Gupta, page number 175, page number 175, question number 12. I told you this question is strong, okay? Whoever has given this, uh, <clears throat> Sabita Gupta, the question number 12 is wrong, okay? Is it clear, all of you? Yeah, so now the next question is, the next question is from Shamik Shom. Shamik Shom. Shamik Shom, page number 149, exercise 11.2, page number 10. Exercise 11.2, question number 10, page number 149. 
question number 10. Okay, in that question, two questions are there. At first, you multiply it by using distributive property. Okay, at first, you multiply it by using distributive property. And then, finally, you put the value of A and B. Okay, is it clear? Then you put the value of A and B. Okay, all right. I will just mark on all the questions. Again, you will be getting all the... <clears throat> Question number 10, okay. Again, some visibility problem is there. Bishwajit Ghos, page number 59, question number nine. Page number 153, question number nine. Page number 153, question number 9. Okay, all of you do one thing. You send me the question numbers. Okay, I will try to... I will try, I will try to send you the videos. Okay, directly. So that it is visible for you all. Okay, because some of you... Because some of you are not able to see the board. I'm getting all the comments here. Meghna... Page number 72. Page number 72. <clears throat> Exercise 3.2. Question number 82. Is it visible now? Okay, okay, okay. Page number 72. Exercise 3.2. Question number 8. Question number Eight. Okay, question number eight. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. If it is visible. Yeah, in PC or laptop, it may, it may not be visible. Try to see in your mobile, okay? Because the resolution has been decreased. Nowadays, the resolution has become 480 pixel. Previously, HD quality was visible. Nowadays, it is not allowed to use. Okay. All right. So now let us come to the next. <clears throat> let us come to the next. Samik Shom, I have done your yes. Meganko, page number 103. Page number 103. I'm going accordingly. Okay. Page number 103, exercise 6.1, number 2. Exercise 6.1, number 2. You just have to add this to add this, uh, this one. You know, what is, it's so easy question you're not able to do. Hmm? So easy question you're not able to do. Very easy question, 6.9. Plus thirty two point two six. How you will add? You will put C into six point nine. No point is given in this way. Just below the point, just below the above point, there should be the other point. Zero will come. Ten plus what we have to do? We have to add, no? So six will come here. Nine plus two is well. Eleven. One carry. Six plus one plus two will be nine. Thirty nine point one six. It's so easy question. It's so easy question. Now, <clears throat> the next question is from Hirok, page number 153, page number 153, <clears throat> question number 8, question number 8, chapter test, okay, let me check, let me check the question.
Okay. Page number page number one fifty three. Question number eight from chapter test. So what expression must this must be added so as to make it zero? Now <clears throat> it is given that the given expression is is four x minus three x cube plus eight x square plus six, isn't it? So with this, with this, what we have to add so as to make it zero. So the solution will be very very easy. Directly we can answer it. Okay. Now if I bring if I bring minus four x. Okay, here what is given? Plus four x is given. No, just give it minus four x. Okay, I just divide it. Minus three x cube. Let's give plus three x cube. Okay. After that, plus eight x square. We get minus eight x square. Plus six. What do we get? Minus six. We got. Isn't it? Now you see four x minus four x. This will be cancelled. Minus three x cube plus three x cube. This will be cancelled. Plus eight x square minus eight x square will be cancelled. Plus six minus six will be cancelled. And finally, each and every terms will be cancelled. And finally, we got one zero. Okay. So what we have added, we have to add this. Write the answer directly. Okay. Right. Answer directly. Is it clear? Hmm. Understood, Hirok. Okay. Now, <clears throat> Christy, page number question number one, page number one sixty seven. Page number one sixty seven. Christy, question number seven, chapter test. Okay. By what number should this be divided so that the question is this? So <clears throat> now, if I ask you, by what number I have to multiply, I have to divide it so that we get the quotient as two. The answer is clear, no? What will be the answer? By what number? By what number? I will divide it so that the question is two and the remainder is zero. Tell me the answer. All of you, tell me the answer fast. Yes, four is the answer. No, so what we have to do? <clears throat> you just divide the dividend, divide the dividend by the quotient, and we will get the answer. Okay. Now <clears throat> you see, uh, we can see clearly it is given that by what number should minus two by three must be divided so that the quotient is. Four. See the quotient is one. Four by nine to the power minus one by two. So you directly divide. You can write the number is. The number is. Or simply write the number equal to uh, minus two by three. Minus two by three to the power minus three divided by four by nine. Four by nine to the power minus two. Okay. So, just uh, <clears throat> remove this uh, minus the negative power. How to remove? Just make it minus three by two. Just make it minus three by two. What you will get if you uh, remove the uh, if you it was minus two by three. I have res done reciprocal three by two. Then this will become uh, positive. Okay. Again. <clears throat> now, when you turn this, divide. To multiply, what will be happen? What will happen? Nine by four. It will become nine by four. Previously, it was four by nine. It will become nine by four. The numerator will be same. Sorry, the power will be same. Okay, the power will be same. How it got changed? How it got reversed? It got reversed simply when we have written multiply in place of divide. We all know it gets reversed, isn't it? So now, what we will do again? Minus three by two q into here. Here, what we'll do again? We'll write four by nine. 
then what will happen this power will become positive okay now let us remove it <coughs> what you will get minus 3 by 2 so minus 3 Will be multiplied three times minus three multi. Let us not write in this way. Let us write in this way minus three into minus three into minus three. Okay, because there is minus three, no? So two into two into two, two into two into two, three times. Okay. Again here, this four <coughs> square is gone. Four square is here. So four into four again nine into nine. Nine into nine. So I think this two, two will be cancelled. Two into two is a four. It will be cancelled with one of the two. And two will cancel four how many times? Two times. Then again, two threes. Okay, three threes are what? Nine will be cancelled with one of the nine here. Is it? So minus into minus. Here what will remain? One one will remain. So minus one into minus one will be plus one. Okay. Now here nine is remaining, so three will cancel nine. How many times? Three times. So in the numerator, in the numerator only one minus is remaining, and there two is remaining. So what do we get? Minus two. And in the denominator, what we got? We got three. So two by three is the required quotient. So the quotient is what? Oh, sorry, the the divisor is what? Minus two by three. If you divide. Minus two by three to the power minus uh, minus three by this you will get the quotient as this. Is it clear? So <clears throat> as I told you before, also at the end of this class you will definitely see the video, the whole video, right from the starting. Right from the starting you will get the video. So if you have missed out now also you can see it uh, clearly in that video by pausing. Now it is not possible to pause. Now the live session is not possible to pause. Have you all understood? Have you all understood? Reply with yes. I'm explaining it once again in SMS. A video to Kora Pasar. Day a video to Kora Pasar. Man ke YouTube boot channel ne a gutte aram bani pray ite alke jisi kori do. Ek aur alke jisi kori so video to pay zaba. Upload automatically ho zaba. Thik hai sir. Man ke pause kori kori likhiye pay. Bhai kya pause kori bun maari na. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Now. <clears throat> all right. All right. Stop. 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 Okay. Now. The next is. <clears throat> Christy, we have done. Now we will do. J and D vlogs. JND blogs. Who is this JND blogs? Exercise page number seventy-two. Exercise three point two. Page number seventy-two. Whenever I, jitiya mo a page number to come, to malu sabet time puri bade. To malu ko doubt thaki wo pare hito, ha na? Page number seventy-two. Exercise three point two. Number nine two. Number nine. Two. Okay, so we have to find the cube root of nine to six one. We have to find the cube root of nine to six one <coughs> into two uh, and two one nine three. All right. So let us do that. Okay. So we are asked to find the cube root of. Page number seventy-two. Okay, page number seventy-two. Question number nine two. <clears throat> See how to do. It is two zero three four. Two zero three four. Six four one seven. Six four one seven. Equal to nine two six one. Into two one nine three. Okay. Now what we have to do? We have to find a cube root of this. We have to find a cube root of this. So cube root of this will be equal to cube root of nine two six one and cube root of two one. <coughs> cube root of 
2193 okay previously this cube was cube root was not there isn't it now we have given cube root on each of them okay now we'll find a cube root of this and this separately by using observing this method all right now sir now, now you all see here 9261 Nine two six one will lie between which two standard perfect cube? <clears throat> Nine two six one will lie between twenty cube and thirty cube because we know twenty cube is what eight thousand and thirty cube is what thirty cube is twenty seven thousand, isn't it? See so nine two six one lie between eight thousand and twenty seven thousand, isn't it? So <clears throat> it is clear that. It is clear that 9261, the cube root of 9261 will be having will be having 2 in the tens place because this 9261 will be either it will be either 21 cube or 22 cube, 23 cube up to 29 cube. Okay, but out of all this, it may be either 21 or 29 because the unit place is 1. 1. If the unit place is 1, then the unit place in the cube root must be 1 or either 9. Any one of them will be true. Let us check which one will be true. Okay. All right. <clears throat> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. If it is 1, if it is 1, if the unit place is 1, then the unit place in the cube root also must be 1. Okay. I mean in the square root form. Okay. So now, we can clearly see that tens result, tens result will be what? 2 and units result. See what is the uh, unit place of the number which is given? The number is what? 1. So the units result will be what? 1. Okay. Hmm? Because we know <clears throat> 1 q will always give you 1, 2 q will give you what? 8, 3 q will give you what? 7. In the unit place, isn't it? See, three cube is what twenty seven. No, it is giving seven in the unit place, and four cube is what sixty four. We have four. We got this type of uh, this type of uh, topics in the class, isn't it? Okay, so we got the cube root. Therefore, cube root of nine two six one will be what twenty one. Similarly, find the cube root of two one nine three. Two one nine three will lie between, see, 2193 will lie between what? 10 cube and 20 cube, isn't it? 10 cube is what? 10 cube is 1000 and 20 cube is what? 8000, uh, 2193, 1000 or 8000 or lie hmm? it lies between 1000 and 8000, so clearly <coughs> we can say that a tens digit will be what? 1, Okay, and the unit system, as we all know, unit system will be what? Unit system will be what? If there is three, what will be the unit system? Tell me all of you. Tell me all of you. Tell me all of you. Yes, if there is three, then the unit system will be seven. Magna two first. Okay, seven. So we got a cube root of, therefore, <coughs> we got a cube root of. 2193 as well. 17. Isn't it? So directly what we will do? Directly we will put the value of this. Okay. Directly we will put the value of this. <clears throat> so at first you start the solution from here. Okay. Start the solution from here. And then finally, and then finally you write the given question. 2034 four, equal to cube root of 9261 into cube root of 2193. Here, here also we have to give the cube root. So cube root of 9261 what we got? 21. And cube root of 2193 what we got? We got a 17. So now you multiply 21 and 17. Multiply 21 and 7 and check. Tell me what is the answer. <clears throat> I 
टोल मी समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेट मी चेक 17 क्यू Seventeen into seventeen into seventeen. Let us check. It is four nine one three. Okay, Vasto. Thanks for your valuable information. I think. I think this question is wrong. Okay, all of you. The question is wrong. Don't try two one nine three. Make it four. One nine three, correct it in the book. It should be four one nine three. Very good boy. Bastog is a very good boy. <clears throat> yes, the question is wrong. It should be four nine one three. Okay, so <clears throat> it will be same. The solutions will be same. The solutions will be same. Whenever two one nine three is there, you write four nine one three. Kala chasma, you put put off your chasma. Kala chasma is not understanding anything. He commented, "Who is this Kala chasma? This type of students. What type of name they put? Yeah, make it four one nine three. Then the answer will be correct." Yeah, the product of seventeen and twenty-one will be three fifty-seven. So this is the answer. Is it clear? All right, all right. Thank you. Now let us come to the next doubt. <clears throat> Let us come to the next doubt. The next doubt is from. The next doubt is from Kogan Kaputi. Page number one seventy five, exercise thirteen point two. Page number seven for. Uh, Page number one seventy five. Question number twenty. Question number twenty. One seven seven twenty nine minus x cube. This is in the form of a cube minus b cube. Since you are not giving your name, it is not possible. I am calling your father's name. Sometimes I am calling your mother's name. Okay. So whatever it is, whenever I call your father's name or mother's name, you just come. Okay. Understood. It's very funny here. All are not understanding. Along with the question numbers and all, you just give me your number also. You can sorry, you can tell me your name also, because some of them are already there. Some names are already there. <clears throat> okay, so Kogan Kakoti, exercise thirteen point two, page question number twenty. See what is given. Seven twenty nine minus. One by x cube. So what we have to do? Seven twenty nine can be written as nine cube minus. Can we write one by x cube as one by x whole cube? Can we write? We can write, isn't it? So it is in the form of what? A cube minus b cube. Okay. If it is in a cube minus b cube, we know the formula. A cube minus b cube will be equal to what? A minus b. A square plus a b. Plus what? B square. Is it? After that, you put it according to the formula a minus b. It is what? Nine minus one by x. Then a square. It is what? Nine square plus <coughs> a b. A is what? Nine. B is what? One by x plus one by x all square. Okay. So nine minus one by x. Here what we got nine square is what eighty one plus nine into one by x nine by x plus one by x square. So 
sorry, this is the answer. Is it clear? Okay, now let us proceed to the next. Ritu Bharali, <clears throat> page number 173. Exam example number three. Example number three, three. Okay, so in example number three, three, this is also same. It will be in the form of a cube minus b cube. It is given there as x to the power six minus one y to the power six. See the page number. 173. Example number 33. Example number 33. All of you go through that part. Example number 33. What we have? X2 minus x to the power 6 minus y to the power 6. Can we write x6 as in this way? Can we write? Yes, we can write. When you open the guide, yes. So now it is in the form of a cube minus 1, b cube. In place of a, what is there? In place of a, what is there? x square is there. In place of b, what is there? y square is there. Okay. So, we have to represent in this form again. a cube minus b cube will be equal to, a cube minus b cube will be equal to a minus b a square plus a b plus.